Good morning, everybody. Baron Blackbird coming to you on the 28th of May, 2021, with my Darkfire Heroes Extended Item Shop Review. Let's get to it. Rare Water and Fire Booster here. Not a huge fan. We have approximately $8 in value. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me recalculate that real quick. I was looking at that differently. We have approximately $10 in value uh, if we take the Water and Fire Essence combined which means we're playing paying forty dollars for 770 rare cards hmm. comparatively speaking that is i believe a better offer than what we are getting if we are no no i take that back forty dollars that would be approximately seven epic chests which would be about 800 common cards what, 100 and, what, 180 rare cards here? Plus some epic and gold, yeah, no, pass, 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 my bad. All right, we're gonna take our free chest here. Before we forget, as we have a lot to do today, thank you for the cards and the little bit of gold. Our daily deal today, uh, it's three Adeline cards for 56 cents, pass, huge pass. Good character, but not at that right, not at that price rate. And here we have 19, Eulith cards, right? Yes, 19 Eulith cards for approximately 45 cents. Uh, I would take that. Yes, I would take that. That's a decent number of cards for that rate of gold. However, if you were to hang on to that 45 cents and say 190 common cards, right? Uh, we'll say, let's say you hang on to that 45 cents and you multiply it by 10, right? It's 190 cards. That's about 450. Throw in a couple more. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think buying an epic chest on a gold burst day is going to be worth more to you than buying these particular cards unless you really want these cards. So I'm going to say pass because I think you can get a better value somewhere else. Heroic, epic, and legendary chests. We are going to pass. We only pick. Think we only consider picking those up on gold burst days. Going to pass, and look at that. We have our giant gem offer here. If you're going to pick up the giant gem pack during an event is most likely the best place to do it. All of your clan members will get 100 extra gems. That alone is a $50 value for your clan. Believe me, everybody likes it when you do it. I do expect large and huge gem packs before the end of the event to have offers as well. However, tiny, small, and medium gem packs we have never seen offers on. Now, the small gem pack is what we use for valuation, 500 gems, $5 US. Therefore, gems are considered a penny a piece when we do our evaluations. And you might be saying to yourself, but I buy the $100 gem pack, therefore I get a better value. That is correct. Therefore, your gems are about 0.7 cents about 0.7 cents if you're buying the giant gem pack there. Approximately a 30% savings, right around in there. Let's move forward. If we took our 500 gems and bought gold, do not buy gold with gems, people. Even though gold is a bottleneck, 2,000 gold is a dollar. And down here at our energy stone, we're using the 20 energy at $1. Yes, I have 21. The most energy you can have one time unless you go over the cap through a gift or um, a leaderboard reward or something like that. Oh my God, I forgot to buy my pack. Oh, I just remembered I forgot to buy my monthly packs again. Oh my God. Okay, okay. We have to do that today. I'm going to hang on to my phone until the end of the review so that I remember. That's two or three days I've missed out on my... Oh. Oh. Why I thought about it just now, I don't know. Okay, sidetrack. We'll get to that in a minute. Our recharge here, we consider 20 energy for calculations for a dollar in energy. or just makes easier calculations than uh, considering 21. Plus, the most you can have is 25, as I was just saying. And the people lower than uh, account level 15 will have less energy. So we use 20 as kind of a middle ground here. Let's move forward to so we have in packs today. Okay. We have $50 here for the Air, Who, Air Heroes Mega Booster. There are five major reasons I don't like the booster packs. And since it's our extended item shop review, let's talk about them. Number one, we have 300 common, 180 and, I'm sorry, 300 common, 180 rare and 50 epic cards in this pack. However, it does not let us know which heroes are available in this pack. That's the first. 
Number two, this is anchor pricing. Number three, it doesn't tell us how many heroes these cards are spread across. These, for example, these 50 epic cards could be spread across two heroes, one hero, five heroes. If it's spread across three or four heroes, you might be looking at maybe eight to 12 cards per hero, which is really only getting your epic hero to level two, maybe? Maybe three? So nice to have, but it really doesn't do you a lot of good, right? Uh, there are uh, six elements in the game. Now, if you're specifically looking for air heroes, then yes, this would be of value to you. However, since there are six elements and all the time what elements are needed for any particular event or campaign or in the arena, it just really depends. So you want a balanced roster. So for an early game player, I don't suggest you pick up an, a specific elemental hero type of pack. It also doesn't tell us the drop percentage chance. For example, let's say you really want Mala. Okay, Mala's not an air hero. Let's pick an air hero. Let's say you want Adeline, right? Uh, Ad well, Adeline's right here. Let's say you want Adeline, but Adeline is only, say, a 3% drop. And maybe a hero, an air hero you're not interested in, Hagrid here, for example, um, is a 17% chance drop, right? We don't know the drop percentage chances. And those are the five major, reason, five major reasons I'm not a huge fan of the booster packs. Now, for example, we come down here to the rare supporter booster, and this one does tell us the heroes which are available, but there are still those four other major reasons I'm not a fan. Now, we have 230 cards here for $25, but since it has those four other things going against it, still not a huge fan. Uh, the price rate on that is what, 10 cents a card? Is that 10 cents a card? I think it's 10 cents a card. Yeah, that's about, we're, we're gonna call it 10 cents a card. $25, 230 cards, we'll call it 10 cents a card. Way too much, even for rare heroes, way too much. Damage spell pack. If you are a new or early player, this might have some value to you if you're planning on spending money on Darkfire Heroes. However, if you're not, this is not where I would spend the $10. We have a dollar in gold here, so take that out right away. We have nine dollars left. You're buying fireball, burn, ice. I'm sorry, fireball, burn, uh, blast, and lightning. All good arena spells. Um, they will unlock them for you. It will get you going. Uh, so it's not a it's not a horrible thing. However, it's not going to make these spells very powerful for you. It will make them okay. It'll make them okay. And it will get you started uh, down, down the path of the arena, which is the PvP modes here in Darkfire Heroes. However, if you're gonna spend $10, I think there are better places you can spend $10 in the game right now. Moving forward, uh, 770 Epic Hero cards for $100. Now this pack does tell you which heroes are available and it does say it's gonna be spread across two or three Epic Heroes. Now, it doesn't tell us the drop percentage chance, okay, but 770 cards spread across two heroes, okay, that's a lot of cards. Even across three heroes, if we're taking the law of averages into account, that is a lot of cards. Now, it does have Coral shown here, and if you can unlock Coral this way, I don't know. It does show him here, and yes, he is someone you can pick up in the very early game, the first seven days that you play, and he does pop up rarely after that in the shop. That's a lot of cards. However, it's also $100. Um, if you're a new player, I don't think this is a good idea for you. I think there are much better places you could spend this $100 and get a lot more value in your roster building it up. This is more of a whale slash later game purchase here. And still it has those three major things remaining. Why I'm not a huge fan, let's move on. Gear Shards Booster here, $10. Now we have a $10 Gear Shards Booster and we have a $20 Gear Shards Booster. The only difference between them is their price and the number of Gear Shards. And you're saying, yeah, I'm gonna buy the $20 pack. I'll get more value. No, you won't. The $20 gear shard pack is exactly double the amount of these shards, 6,400 and 100. It's double. You're not getting any extra value by spending twice as much money. Rovio, come on, throw us a bone here for spending more money. Give us more value, please. Come on. <sighs> pass. Gear shards are rough to come by, yes, I will admit. However, pass. 
Extreme value, it says extreme value. Okay, we have approximately $10 of, okay, we already covered, you know, we covered this deal at the top, at the top of the show, pass. Okay, gold flash sale. We have the gold flash sale, with gold rush, this comes up all the time. It's 10 bucks for 40,000 gold. This is twice as much gold as you would normally get at this price. Just keep that in mind. If you're shy of gold, gold is a bottleneck. Yes, yes, I've got 200,000 gold, but I'm a special case. Um, this is gonna be up to you. Um, I obviously have not found a need to have gold yet and to consume it to a great amount. However, if you are in a position where gold is your issue, there you go, twice as much gold that, uh, for uh, what you normally would get for this amount of money. Okay, Mindbender's Battle Pack, we went over this one yesterday, but we'll go over it again today. Now this, I have to admit, is the first time I've seen a, I believe, the Battle Pack for an event be available past the first day. Typically, I've seen it only available the first day, so it's still here. Interesting, in my opinion. You can pick this up twice. Now, something you keep need to keep in mind is if your account level is different than my account level, I'm account level 15, you may be receiving, you may be receiving more cards or fewer cards, depending if your account level is above or below me. If your account level is below level 15, you may be being offered fewer cards here. I believe the most you can get is 800 common cards. So if you have 800 common cards listed in your offer, I believe at that point you have the top end of all the cards offered here. We have approximately, we're gonna call it 10, we're gonna call it $10 in value in the essence here. That's a rough estimation. We have $10 in gems. We have $3 in energy stones and we have what, $7 in resurrection stones here. So we're paying 10, 20, we have $30 right off the bat here on the bottom stuff, right? That's gonna take us to $50 for the stuff across the top. Okay, keep in mind, we can pretty much get the bottom stuff every day of the week. Pretty much every day of the week. So let's not even consider that. We're just gonna throw that part of the deal out, okay? So that's $30 gone for stuff we get all the time. So let's take a look at the top here, $50. Okay. That's about, about two and a half legendary chests, which would give us 2.5 pieces of epic gear, right? It would give us what? About 36 epic cards. Here, I'm getting 125. You may be getting more or less. So that is definitely something to consider, right? The 500 common cards and 250 rare cards. Okay, let's go back and take a look here at the legendary chest. Legendary chest, here are the 36 or so epic for two chests, just two, right? Two chests here, not two and a half. So that'd be 36, be what, 45 epic cards? You can see right there, you're getting a bunch more epic cards with that deal. Plus we're also getting epic gear with this deal. With this deal, we're getting epic gear. With that deal, we're getting epic card. Oh, you know what, let's, let's do this. This is the extended item shop review. We're actually gonna buy the epic chest. We're gonna buy the epic chest. That takes epic gear out of the picture entirely, okay? Yes, this is how my brain thinks. Okay, we can buy, we're gonna call this $50 here if we bought nine of them, okay? We're gonna say we buy nine of these. If we were to buy 10, it'd be 57 bucks. It's gonna be about 52 bucks here, okay? 50 bucks, 52 bucks. We do a lot of rounding here on the show, okay? So if we buy nine of these, that's gonna be what? Over a thousand common cards, right? I'm just, just rounding here, over a thousand common cards. It's going to be what? 40-ish epic and what? 280 rare. Two hundred and eighty rare, over a thousand common, and what do we say about forty-five epic? So yes, you are getting a ton of epic cards here, more, ton of epic cards here, which obviously are the more valuable cards, one would hope. Plus, we're receiving all these spell cards over here, right? Now, so we're receiving two hundred twenty common, sixty epic, and one hundred twenty rare cards. This is where your value is coming in. It's coming in in the spell cards and it's coming in in these epic cards that you're getting here. So yes, you're getting half the common and you're getting about the same as the rare. But if you're going to spend $80 and you're debating amongst other things to purchase, 
this is probably the place to spend it. Now it does tell us the available cards of both the heroes and the spells. Let's take a look at that. Purify Meteor, which I don't have unlocked yet. Incinerate, Protect Golem, Ice Blast, Freeze, Myconod. I'm sorry, it's War Golem. So those are your spells. Those are all, in my personal opinion, pretty good spells. I would say there's probably one or two there, which I'm, eh, but the rest I think are very solid spells. The heroes are Josie, Fena, Yuleth, Mala, Lick, Lynx, Klexandar, Neuro, Mykona, I'm sorry, and Neuro. These are excellent heroes and excellent spells. I don't say this very often, and no, this is not in my price point. I don't spend this much money on this game or really any other uh, game. However, this, in my opinion, I'm going to place this at a B plus A minus. The Mindbender's Battle Pack, B plus A minus. Rovio, not bad. Not bad. Um, yeah, uh, you know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to say it's an A minus deal. I'm going to say it's an A minus deal. Yeah, considering the heroes and the spells, A minus. Yeah. Granted, it doesn't give us the drop percentage chances of these particular items. However, since they are all decent, yeah. If I were going to spend $50, remember we're throwing out the $30 here for these items we can pick up every day. If I were going to spend $50, this I think is a solid, solid choice. Solid choice. All right, and I don't say that very often. For those of you who watch the show, you know I don't say that very often. Let's go into our special deals here. We're gonna take our free 10 cents in gems and our 10 common shards. Thank you very much. Yeah, I should probably use some common shards. Okay, we have 20 cents in gems here and approximately uh, 20 cents, 30 cents or so here in basic uh, earth essence here. It doesn't even come close to a dollar, that's a pass. We have a dollar in gems here, we have about 50 cents in Elemental Essence here. We have 150 common and 50 common shards. In my personal opinion, this is a pass for $5. I think there's better places you can spend your money. Let's go into our weekly deals. We are going to pick up our 10 gems here and 25 keys. I personally place a value of 25, I'm sorry, of a penny a piece on keys. Therefore, I see 25 cents here. So we're gonna, it's free. We're gonna take it, of course. Thank you. Thank you. We have 75 cents in gems, we have a 75 cents in keys, and as I said, penny a piece on keys, therefore I see $1.50 in value here, plus 12 cents in gold. I will be picking this up, uh, although this account is not currently linked because I downloaded a new uh, version of Bluestacks, therefore I'll have, that's why I also don't have my monthly card because I haven't linked this account. I need, I need to link the new updated Bluestacks. So I will be picking this deal up. We have $2 in gems, $1.25 in keys, and two energy stones here, which I see as $5.25. And then we have 10 rare and five epic gear shards here. I think for $5, there's better places to spend it in the shop, and Rovio should giving you, be giving you a better value. So this is a pass. The monthly deals, we have 150 gems and 225 keys for $3.75 in value. Yes, I will be picking this up because I do like keys. However, Let's look at the rest of the deals. Okay, we have a dollar in gems, 300 common, 40 rare, and 20 epic gear shards. We're being charged $4 for these shards here. We're gonna come back to this in a minute though. Here we have 50 cents in gems, $1.75 in keys, a dollar in an energy stone, taking us to $3.25, meaning Rovio is charging us $1.75 for a resurrection stone. I personally do not place $1.75 value on resurrection stones. I believe you should take that money and hang on to it. If you run up to a speed bump, in which you need a resurrection stone, your roster needs to be stronger. And if you use an energy or a resurrection stone to get past that speed bump, the next time you hit a speed bump, your roster can't handle, you're gonna have to use another one. Take that money, increase the power of your roster overall, therefore it's stronger and will continue to be stronger, except for power creep. Now, we can pick up uh, resurrection stones on a regular basis in the uh, regular portion of the shop, the daily deals here, typically on the right. And it is usually five resurrection stones for 400 gems, which is a better value than picking them up here. However, you can see here we're being charged $1.75 for them. Now, during events, uh, resurrection stones can have more value and energy stones can have more value if it gets you past a certain wave or a certain level where the uh, mobs you're fighting are difficult for your particular roster. So do keep that in mind. Moving forward here, we have $3 in gems, two energy stones and two resurrection stones, taking us to, I think, 8.50, right? Yes, taking us to $8.50. 
We have 80 rare, I'm sorry, 80 common, 40 rare, and 20 epic gear shards here, which is close to what we have up here, right? It is close to what we have up here. So this 850 down here, we're being charged a dollar fifty here for these shards. Up here we're being charged four dollars, and the common is the difference. We have 300 here and 80 here, so we're getting less. But these other three items, the gems, the energy, and the resurrection stones, we can pick up any day of the week, really. Pretty much. So we're not even really considering this a value. We're looking at the way we're being charged down here. We're being charged $1.50 for what's down here, which is not bad, except the rest of the stuff, we can pick up any other time. We can pick up any other time. When you're bundling stuff together, we should be getting a better value. All right, let's move on. We have a dollar in gold, five dollars in gems, uh, two energy, and two resurrection stones, taking us to eleven dollars and fifty cents. Meaning we're being charged three dollars and fifty cents for what's left over here. This three dollars and fifty cents is pretty close to the four dollars we were being charged up here. We're getting ten more rare and five more epic gear shards, and of course, epic gear shards are the valuable item in all of these packs. However, if you don't have epic gear or gear that takes epic shards to level it up. It's not doing you any good anyway, and you're just going to have to hang on to it and wait. We have one-third the amount of common, but you're going to have a plethora of common shards anyway. Therefore, you're getting 10 more rare and 5 more epic for these, this $3.50 here versus this $4 here, which is why I'm not a huge fan of this pack here. I'm also not a huge fan of this pack here because the top four items, once again, we can get any time. It's these gear shards at the bottom we're being charged for. And if you're going to spend $15 on the game, then I highly suggest the Deluxe Monthly card for $15, which I have got to pick up. Uh, got to pick up. <sighs> Over the course of 30 days, you will receive 11,500 gems, which is $115 value at the penny a piece per gem, which is much better than buying the gem packs in the beginning of the shop. If you like the game, you're going to come back every day, and maybe you don't have time to play every day. All you have to do is get logged in. It will go to your inbox, as you can see in my inbox. Boop. Gems. Gems. Where are my gems? Gems, gems, gems. Gems, gems. Monthly, deluxe, monthly, deluxe, monthly, deluxe, yada, yada, yada. All kinds of things that are I need to get. Yes, I know. However, you can purchase both cards at the same time, if you would like. Now, maybe $15 is out of your wheelhouse. Maybe $5 is more in line for what you can do. So instead of buying the $5 gem pack at the beginning of the show, then buy the $5 pack here and you'll receive $33 in gems. That's 3,300 gems over the course of the month. Okay? Now, that is pretty much the extended item shop review, but wait, there's more. I did a redaction on a video, uh, I wanna say two or three weeks ago, and today, we are going to do the correction on that. Let me get this up and ready. Okay, and let's, where is it? There we go, and here, and I am gonna move myself over to here. Now granted, I haven't tested this graphic out yet, so I hope it works. Okay, we're gonna talk about the Essence Booster Packs. Now we're gonna use the Dark Essence Booster Pack here as an example, but this holds true for all of the Elemental elemental Oosters, Elemental Booster Packs. They are $10. We typically see 800 Basic, 400 Pure, and 150 Primal Energy for $10. Is this worth it? Now, I have been saying for quite some time, this is $3 uh, that, that this is less than $3.60 in value based upon a 72 energy hour, 12 hour day. Okay, now this particular one here is worth, in my personal opinion, uh, if this had been before today, I would have said about $3. This is worth about three bucks based on that. I was reading the infographic incorrectly, the spreadsheet incorrectly. That's my bad, I already, I already did a redaction on that on the other video. This is an update to that. Let's look at the new number, well, not the new numbers, let's look at the numbers a little bit differently, okay? Okay, so you go to sleep. You wake up in the morning, feeling like, whoop, wake up in the morning, feeling like P. Diddy, and you have 25 energy, because your account is maximum level, okay? So you have 25 energy. Wow, why doesn't that look lined up? This looks cattywampus. 
That's odd. Okay, you wake up, you have 25 energy. Now, it takes 21 energy to get from levels one through six. Well, I lined all, this should all be lined up. Wow, is it just me or does that look? In case you don't know, I had a damaged uh, retina, like severely damaged, torn retina, and they had to operate on it. I don't see straight lines anymore. This looks off to me, but maybe it's just my, the fact that I don't see straight lines anymore. So if it's not lined up, I apologize, but okay. So you're gonna go through the first six levels. That's gonna take 21 energy. And you're gonna have four energy left over because running level seven is gonna take seven energy, right? So you're gonna have to do something. So the first six levels you go through, you'll end up with 190 basic, 44 pure, and you haven't hit the primal yet. And it's taking you 21 energy, right? Okay, now to get from level seven through 10, it's going to take 34 more energy. Right there, it's level seven through 10. At that point, you're gonna have 276, 150, I'm sorry, you will earn 276, 158, and 72 essence, respectively, okay? The totals there is gonna be 55 energy for a total of 474 basic, 202 pure, and 72 primal essence. That's your first run through, it's taking you 55 energy, okay? That is about two energy stones, but 25 of that energy, you have to remember, you got while you were sleeping, okay? But we're gonna count it as two energy stones right now, okay? That's two bucks. At $2, you have 474, 202, and 72, all right? Let's move forward. Now, if you run level 10 over the course of the next 12 hours, so you've woken up, you've burned through your 21 energy, right? Uh, you popped uh, some energy stone or two or whatever, and you got yourself through your first run. Between breakfast, on your way to school or work, your breaks, your lunch hour, between classes, on your way home, before dinner, after dinner, whatever. In the 12 hour day that you are awake, at minimum, most of us are, at the 12 hour day, we all earn 72 energy, 72 energy over the course of 720 minutes. That's what we all earn. doesn't matter whether you're account level one or account level 50, okay? That's what we all earn. Now, if you take that 72 energy that you earn and you run level 10 over and over and over, approximately you will get 280 more basic, 160 more pure, and 100 more primal, approximately, taking you to a total of 754 basic versus 800, 362 versus 400, and 172 versus 150 essence. Now, the primal essence is the money, okay? That's the money in this case. It's going to take you 127 energy to pull that off, which with 25 energy stones, all right, yeah, energy stones at 25 a piece, that's five energy stones, right? Five bucks, five bucks, okay? Now, remember, one of these energy stones we got while we were sleeping, okay? Now, the argument can be made that takes us to $4, okay? That argument can be made, it takes us to $4. Therefore, we're gonna call it $4.50. Both sides happy, right? Okay. So if you want to argue one way or the other, we're going to split it right down the middle and call it $4.50 to get this grand total here. But here's the tick. The tick is we have 172 of the good stuff. Here we have 150. Okay, yes, you have a bit more of the basic and yes, you have a bit more of the pure, but the primal is where the money's at, folks. This is where the money is at. And that is not close here. Now we're calling it $4.50. They're charging you $10 for it. And I argue that this over here is not worth $4.50 because we're not getting that 22 beautiful primal essence. However you want to look at it, $4, $5, or in my opinion, $4.50, that is less than the, uh, it's less than, it's half, basically, or less, 
of what we're being charged over here, right? We're being charged twice as much for the same or less in value. No, bad Rovio, bad, 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 bad. Yes, I am a community ambassador, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to hold people accountable, all right? Therefore, I cannot, in good conscience, uh, recommend any of the booster packs I have ever seen offered, ever. I've ever, okay? That's the math. That's how I see it. I'm Baron Blackbird. I do this seven days a week, except Sunday through Monday. I do a very short version of this. I try and keep it under 10 minutes so you can get on your day and on your way to school or work or recreation or goofing off or retirement or whatever it is you're doing. However, on Saturdays, we do extended item shop reviews. If you're interested in my Mind Benders item shop review for this week, you need to check out part two of yesterday's uh, item shop review. By part two, I mean just the second half of yesterday's item shop. Take care, have fun. I can be reached through Twitter, Twitch, Discord, YouTube, or my email, baronblackbird at gmail.com. If you have offers which are different than what I have here, or you are receiving different amounts of what uh, the offers I have, for example, the mind benders one where you might have 800 cards or maybe you're offering, uh, getting a maximum of, I don't know, 200 common cards because you have a lower account level. Take a screenshot, send it to me, please let me know what your account level is as well. Uh, I'm on the official discord as community ambassador. If you would like some other, some more dark fire heroes content, check out the other community ambassadors below, which are also content creators. If you would like to see a valuation of heroes and how good or how mediocre they may be. There's also a link to the spreadsheet, which is Google Doc down below. Till tomorrow, take care and have fun. Bye.